What's up, everybody? Welcome to Somerville Serpents. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys today, showcasing our new breeder female. She's a beautiful girl. Um, we just got her in yesterday from Parsons Pythons. Um, someone I would like to now consider, or hopefully can consider in the future, a good friend, um, Jesse from Parsons Pythons. He gave me a hell of a deal on this girl. Uh, he's also very knowledgeable. Has, has uh, shared some of his knowledge with me when it comes to breeding. And um, yeah, so shout out to you, Jesse. Thank you. I definitely recommend him. Anyone that's in the Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire area, check him out 100%. He's legit. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let me just show you this girl. I did just get her in, so I'm not going to be taking her out, but I'm going to show you guys her in the tub. She is a queen bee, so she's pastel. She's lesser. She is spider. She's going to be going. She's going to be being paired um, next weekend. We're going to pair her for the first time here at Some of the Serpents with our boy Tut. He's our pastel yellow belly butter. So obviously, knowing that she's a queen bee, knowing that she has lesser in her, the goal is for some bells, some blue-eyed leucistics, all-white snake, blue eyes, one of my dream snakes. Obviously, we could just go out and buy it if we wanted to, but I really want to create one of my own. We're going to start off with that. Um, we did just do a weight, too, on Shiva. She's at about 1,300 grams. So she's going to be ready to go late in this breeding season, but definitely this breeding season. Um, Kane's sitting at about 250, 300, so same thing. He should be ready to go late this breeding season. If not, it is what it is. We'll wait till next year's breeding season. But, um, yeah, so anyways, I'm sorry for holding you guys up. Before I show you the new girl, I am going to show you Tut. After King Tut, obviously, this boy's going to be living his best life here at Some of Those Serpents, rocking out like a king. So, before I show you, before I show you our new girl, and her name is Isabella, she's named after a queen too. So we got King Tut, Queen Isabella. Um, before I show you her though, I'm going to show you him again for those of you who missed that video. He is a hell of a big boy. Oh, he finally shut out, too. So he just had a big, big meal. I know he usually eats small rats. But because it's breeding season and because he is still feeding, before he goes out food, we're going to try to bulk him up a little bit. He's a beautiful boy. Oh. He's not camera shy. Look, he's staring right up at it. I gotta get in his tub, clean that out. Refill his water dish because he spilt it. Sorry, boy. Okay, so that's Tut, our pastel yellow belly butter. And without further ado, Isabella, our queen bee. We just got her in, so we're not going to disturb her too much. But, oh, she's already made a mess of her tub, huh? She tried to curl up under her thing. Ooh. Look at this girl. She is beautiful. This camera doesn't do her any justice. Hopefully, we'll be upgrading here soon. We are... Anything that we make off of this year's season from uh, from uh, breeding and selling baby ball pythons, I promise you, is being invested right back into the business. So anything that we do do this year, it's going to go back into equipment, more racks, cameras, so we can give you better quality videos. Um, essentially, I am trying to run this like a business. So the snake's money that they earn will be the snake's money. None of it will be going into my pocket. We're just going to try to upgrade everything here. Get bigger and better equipment. Get 
more snakes. I'm not going to say bigger and better because all these snakes are amazing. Look, she looks like she's ready to go. She looks hungry. You want to eat, girl? So, that is her. I know I didn't give you guys the greatest look. We will do an, uh, another unveiling of her where I take her out, hold her, show her off a little bit better, get a weight on her. But anyways, I just wanted to bring that to you guys real quick. Again, shout out to you, Jesse, man. Thank you at Parsons Pythons. I appreciate you, man. And I cannot wait for next weekend. We're going to pair these two up for the first time and see how they see how they do, see if they're compatible. Oh, yeah, and hopefully Isabella might be going this year anyways, even if Tut doesn't get the job done. Jesse sold me this girl right while he was in the middle of one of his breeding projects. She's been paired to two of his breeder males, uh, a Mojave something, a pastel Mojave something or another. I'm sorry, I can't remember exactly what it was right now. But so there's bell potential in that pairing and to a banana clown female maker. So those will be some rock star offsprings, obviously, with the heck clown if we do end up hitting on those. Which, you know, fingers crossed. If not, I mean I really still want the bells, so I'm hoping Tuck gets the job done. He is a proven breeder male. He was purchased as a proven breeder male. So we're putting our, our faith in him this year. But, um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please, I'm begging you guys with all of my heart to share the video, help get this out there, get some uh, notoriety around, you know, want some people checking in on these videos. And uh, yeah, peace, love, and blessings from my family to yours, guys. Have a great night.